Did thanks for clicking. You listen to Time In with yours truly, Tommy Crenshaw. With me is always the snowboarding Ricardo Lungus. I don't snowboard anymore, Tommy. You know, after I broke my leg that one time, I you know, I, I mean, I was into it. You know, back you know back when snowboarding was super super popular and everybody was doing it. You know, the X Games was big. You know, I was all about it. I was I was popping out them five forties and them, 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 the, 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 all the other spins and grabbing the board and all that. But you know, I, I came down a little hard one time, and my my knee decided to go to a place that it, uh, direction it shouldn't have went. And I, I think that was the last time I did some snowboarding. But you know, I, I still enjoy the sport. You know, I still like watching it and whatnot. You know, but yeah, yeah. but hey, hey, Tommy, good morning to you, Tommy. Good morning to you. Did yeah yeah no, yeah, yeah, it's good morning. Good sports morning. Good, uh, good time to be a sports fan. Oh, definitely. And speaking of uh, 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 a great sports fan, we have us with us always our good buddy, Anthony North. How you doing, Anthony? Hey, Ricardo. Um, I'm great, great, man. I, I, I miss those days of snowboarding. I remember that accident. I mean, that, that was a grisly sight. You know, Ricardo oh, Lungus. No uh, you know, th- there were sounds I never want to hear again. Uh, but and most of that was coming from my knee. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Was, boy, that was not a good time. I mean, uh, yeah, a knee's not supposed to do that. I, it, it was, it was not good. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It wasn't good. You know. Uh. Well, that, that's why you got to get one of those uh, bionic knees, where the, the, you know, you can move in all these different directions. You just set the mode. You know, you can. Uh, it even will help you walk for you and stuff like that. You just put the walk mode, run mode, but then you got to run with the other leg. As the people fall over and they trip and they fall into like a bowl of soup and it burns their face, and people always think that they got some, you know, acne issue and stuff like that. And they got, you know, it's weird being like a, a grown ass man. You're in the middle of a, a western sizzling and you're popping zits, you know, in front of your your kids and. The, Way to hand you a napkin. It's embarrassing. So uh, yeah, you gotta watch with those, uh, those, uh, those knee deals. But uh, if you get it, you know how to operate it correctly. I mean, you know, I go to the doctor. You know, he still checks on my knee. You never know. I mean, in the future, I might have to have knee replacement surgery. But you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, it happens to you know once you know when you're up at age and you you know, you've you know, you put a little weight on your knee here and there. You you popped it this way. You popped it that way. You know, you know. It, sometimes knees, you know, that you know, that's what happens. It's just it's just what happens in life. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's uh, but I, I wish maybe uh, some some players, uh, you know, had the bionic stuff, especially your, your high school kids, or at least the ones pretending to be high school kids that get murdered on the field by a legitimate football team. And we all know what I'm talking about here. Is uh, the, the big talk of the town. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the oh that terrible, terrible situation with the whole Bishop Sycamore. Exactly, exactly. What you think about it, Anthony? I mean, Bishop Sycamore. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess you could call it that, or uh, like a, a Lutheran cottonwood, or uh, you know, you, you call it a Episcopal pine. Uh, I'm not sure what they're trying to do there, but uh, Episcopal I'll, pine. I watched. Episcopal pine. Isn't that Chris Pine's brother or something like that? Uh, uh, half brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, you know, we watched the game. I was trying to figure out, uh, you know, who are the kids here? Because Bishop Sycamore, I mean, those look like some people who probably have had a couple of divorces. All right. Uh, they, they were not kids. And I, I knew something was fishy when I watched the game and there was a lot of facial hair uh, and, and there were some dad bods out there. Uh, and that's just not normal for a high school football game. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more, Anthony. You know, uh, you know, once you start looking into it and when you're watching the game and you're hearing the ESPN commentators not being able to name people on the field, you know, people swapping jerseys in the middle, swapping helmets, you know, swapping cleats. You know, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure some of those kids swap, uh, uh, jock straps. Like you look at this and then you start deep diving, things start getting really fishy. Yo, yo, especially seeing as like, yo, Bishop Sycamore played two games in three days. You don't do that. You don't, you, you, this is football. You don't, you don't play, you know, uh, at most you play two games in like six days at, you know, maybe five days at the most, you know, but two games in three days. You, yeah. you, you don't do that and get, and get decimated both games. Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, I heard they only had one bus. And, and so after the game was over, they had to drive across the country in 48 hours 
and they left some they left some of the players uh, at the at the game before. It, it, it's a mess. It's a mess. Absolute mess. I mean, it, 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 and like you were saying, dad, boss, some of these people, some of these kids that are supposed to be in high school were friggin' Juco uh, uh, dropouts. Juco dropouts trying to play high school and still getting decimated. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shame. It's a shame what I'm saying. What do you think, Tommy? I, I don't know what to think about this mess. I think it uh, I, I think it sounds like a classic con job. Uh, I think that, uh, that, that obviously the they conning uh, people, uh, they, uh, the ESPN got conned by Paragon. Paragon, you know what Paragon means? Paragon means like an elite person. Somebody's elite at something. But, uh, clearly nobody's elite in this mess. Um, but uh, no, but, uh, you know, just to, uh, to, to Anthony's point, the name of this thing sounds suspicious anyway. You know, oh, the, yeah. the, the, uh, Bishop, you know, you're trying to ride on the whole, like, the, the Christian, uh, the faith, the schools, like, uh, you know, up in White Plains, they got uh, Archbishop stepping that. I mean, those, that, I mean, that's a powerhouse. I mean, basketball and football, and they, you know, they've been powerhouse for a long time. Definitely, definitely. You know, playing the Catholic leagues, and it's not just the Catholics, it's the other, uh, the other Christians uh, playing, and uh, j- what, why is there not, like, a Muslim league, or, like, a Muslim team? Like, the, 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 I mean, Muslims, uh, there, there's some tough Muslims out there. They play exactly, sports and exactly. they play basketball. I mean, Kareem, I mean, they, I mean, yeah. it's one of the greatest athletes of all time. I mean, granted, he wasn't playing football, but uh, uh, y'all know they, they've had some bruises in, in football. So why, if you had like a, the, the, the Muslim academy versus like a Christian academy or the Catholics, and it's like, you know, they have this pent up anger of something that happened a thousand years ago. Uh, uh, I mean, hey you, Tommy, Tommy, you Tommy, you could call it the Crusade Bowl. Did, it, that hey, would be good. The Crusade Bowl. I, yeah, hey, did, mark, the marketing writes itself, right yeah, there. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It writes it, itself. And then you got to push the Buddhists to get involved, but they, you know, a lot of them are pacifists. But there's probably some Buddhists that there's probably like a sect of them that are, that are you know, kind of hell bent Buddhists that are wanting to create some fury. Again, but just Buddhists, get all but the Buddhists faces. don't Buddhists don't believe in hell, Tommy. The, or whatever they they they. they, they uh, uh, reincarnated into something uh, d- awful, like uh, uh, re- like re- a, re- reincarnated as like like a, a like a, w- like a water bug or something like a, like or... a rerun of of Maud. Reincarnated as Maud, something yeah, something that just would would be yeah. And if I they wanna, were reincarnated, I don't want to offend the loyal Maud viewers that that we have. Uh, and hey, we all the fans of B Arthur here. Don't we don't hey, hey we're all fans of B Arthur. We love B Arthur. God rest yeah, his soul. Yeah, we just don't like that stupid show. It was just a really dumb show. Dad, hey, there were some good episodes. Yeah, I mean, I, really, I, I would say I like a good 60% of it. You know, I mean, you know, I, I like her better when she was on Golden Girls. Yeah, she, she was, was yeah, she was great. But, but she, yeah, she, she was a lot better looking. Uh, you know, on yeah, Golden Girls. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she I was like it. a glass of wine. A exactly. bottle of wine. The, the glass exactly, of wine exactly. just does the opposite. But the, yeah, you, you never well, exactly. you have a drink. But, yeah, like, but, you have but, a drink but, like an old glass of wine right. you just let out for a month, and you start sipping on it, and you think it does the same thing it does in the bottle. It doesn't do that. It actually will make you sick. There's like animals growing in it. It's like a, uh, it's like its own little microscopic zoo you're drinking. And, I, and kids want to have a good time. They say they get bored because of this online school and stuff. Get them to drink an old glass of wine. They get excited. Have some wine. You know, they end up belly aching for three days, spitting up little like micro worms, and they could. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Of uh, those of you listening, I never did that to my kids. That sounds like abuse. I just I've heard it. I've read it in the back of family uh, circle, family circus, one of those magazines. Uh, yeah. Did, I mean, you pick what up what you're the describing. What 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 you're describing, Tommy, is basically life at Bishop Sycamore. I mean, you know, these kids didn't go to school. You know, I mean, they might as well gave them a, a month old wine that's been sitting around or whatnot. You know, I mean, it's better than you know, like like uh, it, it, they didn't have food money enough for food to feed the kids. Sometimes, like like they bounce checks for the kids uh, sleeping in, in uh, hotel rooms. Like they literally, literally, some kids had to steal to eat. That that's how bad this whole well, situation yeah, 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 was. But, but so did uh, Jameis Winston did when he was in college with the crab legs. I mean, he was going around stealing all kinds of caviar. I don't know about that. I know the crab legs thing, but uh, you have to keep in mind. It's like uh, those. Uh, I guess he was the same age. 
Uh, but he was in college. They were still in yeah, yeah, grade were, school I mean, or whatever. Yeah, they were the same age. That's one of the problems, Tommy. They're the same age, and they're playing high school ball. You know, it, 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 that's one of the big problems. And, you know, you know I'll give, J- I'll, you know, Jameis say he didn't do it on purpose or whatever he said there. You know, I'll, you know, you know I, I, it never went to court that I know of, so I I, I can't, I can't yeah, say nothing about I give the guy a pass. I mean, he was, yeah. he was young, and, I mean, when you're young, man, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I've had, like, uh, aquatic animals fall into my pockets and stuff like that. And when you're wearing your big pro player, your, your starter jackets, you know, when those were kind of popular, you know, sometimes you walk out the supermarket and you got like all kinds of food in there that just fell off the shelf. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like when you go to the grocery store and you pick up uh, uh, some grapes and you, and you pop a couple grapes, you know, and, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I've been in the grocery store before and I, you know, I've broken over some crab legs and yeah. start eating those crab legs. You know, I'm going to pay for them when I get up there. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm just hungry now for the crab legs. I got to get them now. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you, you, you put a six pack in the buggy. It turns into a two pack by the time you get. Uh, but yeah. I pay for all of them. Yeah. Yeah. I pay, of course you, know, you, pay for you, you pay for all of them. I mean, you know, you, you, you just got to get that, you know, you got to get a little, you know, a little loosey goosey when you're doing your grocery shopping. Yeah. You, you can't go in there all, uh, all, uh, clear minded and whatnot. You, you, you won't get everything what they you, want you. you That's truly what they, need. They give you the free samples of, of all kinds of booze when you go into some of the stores I go into. They don't want to get you to lick it up. So you're just buying everything on the shelf. Exactly. They say, exactly. Come here hungry and thirsty. That's what they say. But, uh, uh, any, any last words on this one, guys? Uh, what, uh, what, what do you think the future for uh, the, 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 the bishop, uh, the, the, the bishop Huckleberries out? Uh, excuse, excuse me, Sycamores, and uh, the future ones. Uh, the, the, this probably can't happen again, right? Oh, I wouldn't be too sure. What do you think, Anthony? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with next. Uh, you know, every every tree starts as a sapling, and there's gonna be there's gonna be a, a few saplings uh, that that need to be grown in the south. Uh, you know, I I think everyone's getting a little tired of seeing uh, the same high school football programs dominate every year. It's time it's time we bring the bad news bears together and we do it right. So I, I'm I hope that you know they can get organized. Uh, you know, maybe maybe get out of Ohio. I think I think the Ohio governor's on to him. Yeah, uh, you know, I think I think there's a uh, there's some room down here, we, uh, you know, in the south to to bring it home uh, and start start doing it the right way. Well, you know what I think he should do. I think he should uh, basically move to Michigan and uh, get you guys uh, all in clandestine stealth mode and uh, wait to uh, do, like the Lions to go play uh, in London or one of the teams go play a London game. Find out what hotel they are. Kidnap them, dress, take all the gear, dress up, and then go out and play, and then beat whomever, and then say, "Hey guys, guess what? We want the real lions." And then everybody gets everybody's attention. They're like, "Oh my god, you're so great! You're gonna you're gonna get awarded a franchise or something." That's what's in his head. Is I'm telling you, I, I think you can't pull it off. I think that's ridiculous. But I think that the guy in his head, if you told him that, he'd go do it. That that's how crazy this person is. You know what I think should happen? Yo, this this is me. Yo, this is me. Yo, these people are are, are praying on, on on impressionable young kids. You know, they're 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 peddling the 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 idea that they can be in the NFL. They're peddling the idea uh to kids who couldn't who couldn't get a scholarship. They couldn't they the the grades weren't that good. They couldn't make it in JUCO. You know, yo, this this they're peddling that they're gonna get us another chance. Yeah, they're, they're peddling that they're making a new last chance you. They're, they're, that's what they're doing. They're peddling. And I think all of these people should be taken out behind the barn. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not behind they're, the barn, behind the library. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one, Tommy. That's a good one. Yeah, behind the library, and they get they get taken care of. That's what they need. That, that that's what needs happening. Yeah. For those of you who don't know the joke, the uh, the, the chancellor of the school, uh, Ray Parker Jr. Uh, the, what, what what's his name? Uh, 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 Andre Peterson. Andre, you know, yeah. yo, we have to make sure people know who this scumbag is. Yo. Yeah, the, the, well, Adrian Peterson. No, Andre Peterson. Andre, not Adrian okay. Andre. Oh, oh, Andre. Yeah. P- okay. As long as it's not Scott Peterson. Oh, that, well, yo, uh, yeah. that that wouldn't be any kids. There's a bunch of what you really Scott Peterson is the name of like three guys that did some bad stuff to people. Anyway, exactly. But yeah, the library is the uh, the Andre Dark uh, Peter Dawkins the Peters. Yeah, the, he said. Uh, yeah, he said that the uh, mailing address was a library, and uh, yeah, you're, you're the head of a school. You're teaching kids English at least, right? Isn't that the first thing you teach kids in school. I mean, that that's the easiest one, I think. Yeah, and that's the end of the game. 
Thanks for clicking. You tuned in the time in with me, Ricardo Longus. I got Tommy Crenshaw and Anthony North, TTFN. <laughs>